Hey everyone, welcome to the first video on my new channel, Betty the 95 Bronco. This has been a long time coming. I wanted to make this channel so I can have something to look back on and to share my journey with those of you who are interested. Uh, I was originally going to make this into two videos, one of me sitting here talking to you, and then one of me cleaning my garage and getting it ready to do some work on the Bronco. But then I decided that I would combine them into one. This is my first time making any kind of video like this, so I realize that it's not the best, but I'm still learning, and I hope to make improvements for the next time. I am recording on my phone, and then recording the audio separately for this video, and then splicing the two together. So we're going to see how it goes, and uh, hopefully it turns out good. Anyways, uh, Betty here is a 1995 Ford Bronco, four-wheel drive, got a 5.0 liter, the five-speed manual transmission. You can see her sitting in the back out in the driveway. Uh, she got the name Betty because she's red and black. And when I bought her back in June of 2018, she came with Betty boot floor mats. So, you know, it only fit that I decided to call her Betty. Since then, I've done a few things. Uh, when I first bought her, she had a pretty bad oil leak. Uh, I noticed that it was leaking from the, the oil drain plug. So when I did the oil change, uh, I replaced the plug as well. Unfortunately, that only slowed it down a little bit. Uh, so I decided to delve a little bit deeper into the problem. Come to find out, the plug just needed to be backed out and tightened down a few more times to get it completely tight. Sorry, my cat's in here now. Uh, next, I took to get new tires and get an alignment. Uh, when they started looking at the suspension, they noticed that the radius arm bushings were, were pretty torn up. They quoted me some huge astronomical price, like something like $800 to fix it. Uh, but I looked it up at my local auto parts store, found them for 12 bucks, bought them, went to a buddy's house and replaced them. Only took a couple of hours, a couple of, couple of tools. I had her back on the road. Around November, my clutch pedal started to have quite a bit of play in it. I would push it down and it wouldn't it wouldn't actually move the clutch until it was like an inch, two inches from the from the floor. Uh, then the next day, my clutch slave cylinder completely went out, uh, so I couldn't separate the clutch plate, and you know I, I was constantly in first gear, couldn't shift or anything like that. So that was fun. Uh, wouldn't have been too bad if the uh, slave cylinder wasn't actually inside of the transmission housing. Uh, around that time, I had a, a lot going on. Uh, so I, I tried to work on it, you know, for, for a, a decent amount of time that one day. Uh, 
So super long day, super long night. Get the transmission out, slave cylinder replaced, transmission most of the way back in. Uh, it was held on by uh, basically just the bolts that weren't tightened down all the way because they're a pain to get to. Uh, so, you know, she sat in the garage for a couple of weeks. Like I said, I had a lot going on. Uh, finally got back out, finished the job up because my wife needed our, our other car that I had been driving. Um, so I got out, finished it all up, got it back on the road. And uh, the first night that I had it back out, went to make a late night Taco Bell run. And on the way back, I uh, lost the third and fourth gear shifting fork, a couple like a like mile, mile and a half from my house. Uh, so again, cue the long garage stay. So got the shifting fork in the mail, picked up some new tools, some, some uh, punch bits, stuff like that. Uh, got all that taken apart. Um, got it put back together, got her back on the road again. Uh, so far, So far, that's all that I've done. I've got it quite a bit planned. I'm not really sure that I'll ever have it completely done, let's be honest. Uh, my to-do list so far, need new brakes, new distributor cap, comes along with the rotors, the wires, and spark plugs. Gotta do some rust removal. I wanna line the floorboard. I wanna put in a roll bar so I can take the top off and still have the back seat belts that attach. Uh, I want to figure out some way to, to coat the frame, get the rust off the frame and coat it so it doesn't rust. Uh, a couple of other small things, big things that I want to do. Um, first thing on my list though was cleaning the garage so I had a place to work. That's what I'm doing when, in this video. Uh, I'm going to be up front, tell everyone that I'm not the most mechanically inclined person, but I like learning new things while I'm working. And so far, you know, I've learned a lot. Uh, in, the, in the short amount of time that I've had this truck. Uh, I hope to learn a lot more while I have the truck and uh, I don't plan on getting rid of her anytime soon. So I hope you stick with me on my journey while I fix Betty here up and I get her running right. We get her out on the road. Hope to have some fun with her. Get a couple of videos of that, share that with you guys. Uh, other than that, that's all for this video. Hope to see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching this one. Till next time.